Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's video we're going to talk about how to catch some more crappies using slip bobber rigs. Now a lot of guys when they fish slip bobbers uh, they do a couple things that prevent them from really fishing effectively and it probably costs them a few fish. So I'm going to just give you a couple quick tips today to uh, make sure you're fishing your lures most effective and getting the most bites. So some of you guys already might do this but <clears throat> I get a lot of questions about slip bobbers so I just wanted to shoot this video to kind of show you guys a, a good setup uh, for slip bobber fishing. So you know some of you seasoned slip bobber fishermen probably already know this but you know if you, you can check it out see if you do see if you don't. But what a lot of guys do when they're going to fish slip bobbers, say you're going to live bait fish slip bobbers, what they'll do is they'll get the smallest slip bobber that they think they can use and they will get, you know, a little jig and they'll, they'll hook their crappie minnow on and cast it into the spot, whether it's, you know, 8 feet deep or 12 feet deep, whatever it is. And what happens is if you're using too little weight, you just have a little jig and a minnow, you cast that thing out, when it gets to the spot, the, the line is going to slide through the bobber really slowly, the, and you'll know it's going through slowly because the bottom, the bobber is just going to lay flat on the water until that, the, you know, it feels the weight which stands it up. So as that line is sliding through the bobber, getting down to, to, till it hits your bobber stop, it's just going to lay flat like this on top of the water. So first off, if you have too little weight on the bottom, what it's going to do, it's just going to take you forever to get down and start fishing. The other thing that's going to happen is sometimes it's, go it's not going to fully get all the way through the bobber. Some of the line will just lay on top of the water. So your, your bobber will never set up. It might just stay laying flat or it might kind of lay at an angle and you're just not effectively fishing. You're not, you don't know for sure you're in the strike zone. So to take care of that problem, what you want to do is you want to be able to cast to your spot and start fishing, you know, right away. So what you want to do is you want to get a little bit bigger slip bobber than you think you need. The reason you want to get a little bit bigger slip bobber is so you can put a big weight on, a much bigger split shot than you think you need. The, the reason for that is when you cast this out, this heavy split shot, it's going to drop right down to the bottom, pull all that line, no problem, right through the slip bobber, set it up nice and vertical so you're fishing and you know your, your line is at the depth you set the bobber stop, everything's tight and your bait is being presented at the depth you want and everything's proper. So go with a bigger slip bobber and then a heavy weight. So that heavy weight just pulls the line through, sets everything up. The other thing you want to do is if you're fishing live bait, you want to go with a regular hook, like a regular bait hook, as opposed to a jig. And the reason for that is if you use a jig, the jig weighs more than just a regular plain hook and you don't need the weight to because because you have the big split shot you don't need the weight of the jig to set everything up vertically you go with the lighter hook because the the hook is much lighter than the jig and the the crappie minnow or whatever you're using for bait is able to move around a lot more a lot more natural so it's going to put more action on your bait and this is mostly if you're fishing you know, it, it could be if you're fishing crickets, but it's really if you're mostly just fishing minnows. If you just have a light hook, your minnow is going to be able to swim all around, put a lot more action on your lure pre or on your bait presentation than if you've got a jig and that jig just being heavy kind of restricts the movement of that minnow. He can kind of you know swim, he can move his tail and kind of swim, but he's not going to be able to push that heavy jig. But if you have just a little light hook the minnow is actually able to swim around the, down there you know and just attract more crappies and get more bites these are just some simple tips that can help you catch more fish on your slip robber presentations so I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next video